the mass this morning will be in English with some uh, Chinese uh, to accommodate some of the folks uh, in my group who are Cantonese speaking. So we'll use our leader Fatima for the uh, proper, uh, except uh, the readings, we'll use the readings of the day. So uh, there are particular intentions, and also I ask you to include your own personal intentions, and then I will collect them at the collect. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne, you see this city. Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death, and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Son, your response, you are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honor of our race. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. When the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, 
they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with the defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they purify themselves. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of the cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked Jesus, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? Jesus said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites. As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandments of God and hold to human tradition. Then Jesus said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandments of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever speaks evil of the father or mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother, whatever support you might have had from me is carbon, that is an offering to God. Then you no longer permit doing anything for a father or mother thus making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many things like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Let me proclaim the Gospel once again for those who are Cantonese speaking. Gong 從街市上回來, 伊撒爾亞倫尼地這些假善人預言的真好,正如所記載的,這個民族用嘴唇尊敬我,但他們的心就遠離我。真好啊,你們為虛守你的傳授,竟廢除了天主的戒名。就准许那些人不需要再为父母做什么所宣讲的福音
而唔係話因為呢啲律法咧係幫助我哋更加接近天主，所以聖保六中徒話：我哋而家咧最主要嘅唔係律法，而係話我哋同主耶穌之間嘅關係。呢、这個關係咧，就算律法咧都用嚟去幫助我哋建立呢個關係。所以律法都係為人。为人嘅好处，为人更加能够能够接近主耶稣。所以如果律法变咗系最重要嘅嘢，而唔系我哋同主耶稣之间嘅关系咧，咁就产生咗一个诶、呃、错错误。所以主耶稣话：你哋唔可以用理由话我哋唔去同我哋嘅父母啊保持呢、这个。誒、呃、好嘅關係，唔好用，因為我哋要俾天父誒誒、呃呃、多啲嘅嘢，於是咧我哋離棄咗我哋嘅責任，就係、是、同樣嘅道理咧。我哋要了解到福音嘅真意咧，唔係單單指墨守成規，而係將佢咧消化咗。使到我哋咧能够更加接近主耶稣。Sometimes we made a mistake to think that by observing all the rules, all the regulations, that we are actually following Jesus the way that Jesus requires of us. Actually, as Saint Paul tells us, what he requires of us. Is our hearts to be closer to Him, to build that relationship with Him? The law, the rules and regulations are means to help us to achieve this end. That is why Jesus in today's gospel has no uncertain terms about how people follow the rules and regulations and laws, and yet their hearts are very far from Him. What is significant, therefore, is that our hearts are drawn closer to Him, and when we follow the rules and regulations and the laws, always the 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 key is that we follow Him, we exercise mercy, we manifest divine compassion to others. As we come to this. Sacred place, this holy place, where the Blessed Mother appears to the three、uh, shepherds, little shepherds. We ask Almighty God to continue to guide us, that we place our trust in this loving God who never ceases, never ceases to continue to call us to life in its fullness. So. Let us place our request, our relationship with Christ, at the center of our life, so that we can continue to follow Him ever closer until the day that our Lord calls us home to Him. Here at this sacred spot, where the Most Holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers to God, our Father, who gave us the Mother of His Son to be our mother. For all the faithful, that by obeying by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ. We pray to the Lord. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm, as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the, the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. 
for all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of us here present and for our families, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people, and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith, we ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray that our, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, to our good and good of all his holy church. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and of praise so that in celebrating the fe this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary and praise you for your gifts. She, receiving your word in her immaculate, immaculate heart, merited to conceive him in her virginal womb. And in giving birth to the creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving at the foot of the cross the testament of divine charity, received all people as her children, born to eternal life through the death of Christ. She, when the apostles were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, the promised one, united her supplications to the prayers of the disciples and thus became the model of the suppliant church. She then finally elevated to the glory of heaven, surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place until the glorious coming of the Lord. And so with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of fire and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, 
Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your Spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let the, uh, the mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis our Pope, Antonio our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest. In the hope of rising again, bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for Almighty Father forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Heavenly Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, with, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the, Lamb, to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray you, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. I thank you all for participating with me in the, this Eucharist, and may the Blessed Mother continue to bless us and intercede for us on our behalf, for our needs, and to guide us ultimately to her Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord. Thanks be to God.